All right, good day, hi, and welcome. Let me show you what I'm up to. First off, check it out. I found a whole bunch of rechargeable batteries today. Score! And I got some meat sticks too. Okay. The disaster, a lot of times you have to like make twice the disaster to clean up. So it is getting cleaner in here. I've removed a bunch of stuff, but check it out. Here's my new reloading desk. This sucker is a tank. Uh, two inch thick maple here, inch everywhere. Without the drawers, it weighs over 200 pounds. Watch. <laughs> like a gauge, it's solid, solid, solid. And I had to bring that from the uh, second floor by myself. I pretty much just put it upside down and like slid it. Got a nice big scratch on it when it slid across the, down the stairs or whatever. But it doesn't matter, it's all stained and everything. But it's it, this is like a solid wood desk, it's solid maple. Uh, yeah, check that out. That's going to be good. I probably would have to cut a spot here. I don't know if I'm going to do that or just raise up, raise this up so then I can keep the desk for other things. But it's not fully, fully of course, I got my Hawker Seifer here. That sucker must be over 20 years old. I painted that by hand. Not a bad job, eh? Got some of that. It's not fully rearranged yet, but got some stuff in here. Got my dies. Oh my dies. That thing, I'm just going to leave it in there for now. And I got my calipers, my other little doodads in here. And then ah, all my 308, 357, 38 special. That's all my good brass. I got some 30 out 6 to punch the primers out of. Well, obviously, the business end of the machine. Ooh. Somebody should clean up around here. Uh, this is all my recycled brass, clean brass. I'm going to have to up, up scale that pail. And I have another one. It's just I took it outside and I think I'm going to put it there. And all that other brass. There's a lot of brass there. I think I'm going to junk a lot of that. Add it to this pail. What I do is I crush down the brass and then I, I pound it with a hammer. So nobody can uh, basically say, oh, look at that. Somebody threw out a whole bunch of good brass and then they reload it and it blows up in their face. Some of the stuff is majority 308 uh, fired up to at least six times uh, out of my Norenko. So I, I just don't want the liability of somebody, uh, you know, using brass that might not be good. So it is getting cleaner. There's a big spot there. I brought, brought to, I actually literally threw out a sink, vanity. Uh, all this was uh, like a bench. Well, you guys, if you followed my channel, you saw the, the, the bench part of it. But it, it's, you know, it was cleaner the other day. It seemed like I, I got, made it messy again. But it will be cleaned up. I will show you what it is. like going to take me like a week. I thought it'd be done in like a day or so. But there, you don't realize how much stuff you are have until you start tossing stuff out and moving stuff around. I've like you. I've already like literally. You wouldn't believe what I've taken out of here already. I know it doesn't look like it right now because I'm, you know, everything's got to get juggled around. But yeah. I'm very happy about that bench anyway. Um, got a few things. Uh, you guys tell me what you think. Remember this? Remember that beautiful thing that I got uh, for free? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know where this is going. I know right where this is going. Uh, it's going to be going up here. That's where that's going to go. Yeah, what do you think of that? Defiance. I love it. So that's where the Defiance picture is going to go. Perfect spot for it. I should probably move that over down there. Um, because there's better light there, but there's also a light that I could put in there. But I think what I'm going to do instead is just get a lamp and because you can never see good enough with that anyway. So, uh, with that light, so I'm going to get this set up a little bit differently. I'm going to move that around, get it closer to the wall, clean it up. Believe it or not, I've already cleaned this out. Everything in there is actually usable stuff. So, you know, I'm going to keep this in here. What I would like to get down here, believe it or not, not right at this moment, is a magazine rack. And that could, because uh, I got like four boxes of magazines that uh, that old guy Vincent there, he's always giving me like reloading magazines and everything. Um, put that maybe either there or over in the corner. Then, you know, make it look a little more lived in here. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, there we go. So everything's, it's coming along. It's going to be neater when I'm done. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of like throwing things together for now. Uh, this winter, my goal this winter, 
is to have all that brass. That's a lot. So, uh, these are normally cases of 20 or 50 casings. There's probably over 100 in each. Uh, so there's probably 200 or 100, 200, 300, about 300 shells there, casings. I think all told, I got about 800 rounds to reload. And then I got all that, that's brass there. So I, I got lots to reload. Um, so there's already three, 400 rounds there. Uh, I think I fired, I'm approaching the 500 round mark anyway. I don't think I'm over 500 rounds out of that 308 yet. Uh, but when I get that all settled out there, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll get this all, you know, get, get this all spectacular for you. And then we can check out my Sea Fury one more time. Uh, so yeah, it's coming along slow but sure. But uh, there we go. Progress is slow but sure. That's all that matters. Why? Because we defy the, the messiness. We're defying it. Just like that mighty elk there killing that wolf. Putting him in his place and saying, You mister, you're next if you mess with me, Mr. Elk. Because I got defiance. Although this is very intimidating to my defiance to clean it up. But I will get there. I will get there. Yeah, there we go.